This nibble originally aired on RSBNB Update, episode 912, Succession, Songs, and Violence. Enjoy. And with that, I think we can move on to Yak Coins now. Um, these, yeah. of course, were um, were leaked um, through uh, when the store was supposed to come out and when the uh, update was supposed to arrive. But it's here now. And, you know, the idea behind this is that you can purchase pretty much any Yak Track reward that uh, has been on any Yak Track except for Yak Track 1. I think they said. So um, I'm a fan of this, but one thing that we do have to say on this is that the things in here are expensive and you get one Yak coin mm-hmm. for every five tasks that you do. Right. So it's 10 coins for completing the track. However, there's the extra, extra bonus task at the end, the task 51 that is repeatable. That is a skill and kill of um oh i'll have to go to the wiki for that but in any case it's a skill and kill that just repeats every so often and that's how i guess if you complete the act track early you're gonna grind you're gonna grind these um yak coins and what what do, what do you guys what do you guys think of this as a mechanic because i think bringing back the cosmetics is good but at the same time as we said 10 yak coins throughout this entire thing yeah that's not skill and kill is 60 so it is one coin per five hours after the track is done so i mean i think damn my eyes yeah it's 60 because like the cape is 16 so the cape is free at 50, a tradable version of the cape, separate from... So we will get a copy of the cape, untradable, at when we complete task 50, guaranteed. After mm-hmm. that, you can spend 16 coins to buy a tradable version of it for those who are too lazy to complete a full... or not able to complete a full Yak Trek. So that is the tradable rare portion it's just, I believe, the same cosmetic. Yeah, so it's 60 increments of skill and kill, um, which is which is 180 minutes of gameplay. Isn't skill and kill one per five minutes? No, it's three. Oh, it's three hours. Okay, that makes it way yeah. more reasonable. I, my brain. It's three. That one's on me. I've been, I've done only done two skill and kills so far, so that tracks. Yeah. Um, um, and you know, the frozen shoulder cape is actually different than the one that you get from the tier 50 one. Is it? Yeah, there's two variants of it. And I was wondering what this was, but there's two... If you go to the Yak vendor in Berthorpe, there's two different capes. There's one with the freezing aspect of it, and that's the one that costs 16 Yak coins. But then there's just the shoulder cape that's standard that you get for completing Tier 50. That's the one on the right. So the one in there at for 16 Yak coins is... Or 15 Yak coins is unique. Are we? Huh. I'm surprised by that. Oh and, my and, smithing stop. I and, can't be getting XP right now. And and let's be be real. The one frosty versus freezing. Yeah, the frozen one interesting looks, looks better in my opinion. But and you know. When when this came out, and the reason Lofty we versus frozen, yeah, okay. yeah, and and the reason we delayed talking about this is we wanted to see what the prices would be and where everything would land on this, and people call people can call this a microtransaction store, but this is this is kind of what you were talking about with the last Yak Track, and that you know other games have battle passes that aren't designed to be complete, and in some ways this sixteen right. Yak coins for the extra requires. K, or the blood ice is that extra beyond the track that we have. Now, if the coins carried over between tracks, I'd say fine. Yes, that's but true. The issue is that you have to complete task fifty-five essentially to get the cape, or fifty-four, or whatever, to get the um to get the the re override for your blood ice. And I I don't love that as a mechanic. I mean, it does say that hey, if you go past fifty, you're, there are still rewards to unlock that are unique. Um, but and, I'm, and I I'm mean, a little hey, disappointed. Maybe you hold on to that. Away. Maybe you hold on to that. That might be 
something that's that's a good money experience. But yes, the, I think we have until the Yank track runs until January twenty ninth, and yeah, I think we you have days. until until sometime in February to spend the Yak coins. February fifth I mean, to spend the Yak coins. It's not enough time to earn more coins from the next track, right? No. You can't put these. You can't save up coins and say, "Hey, next track, uh, like I'm not really attracted to anything this track." In the Let's store, wait I and see what we got next time. Yeah, um, and, and in many so, ways, this is just a way to go back and um, pick up things that you've missed. And I'm just scrolling through my outfits tab here, and everything except for these things is owed because apparently I have completed all the act tracks. Well, and it's not all of them. I think it doesn't include the most recent couple of the right, act tracks because fair. a lot yeah. of stuff that I don't have isn't in there. Okay, and I, given I don't particularly care, or I would have done the act track, but you know. Um, I think the last couple are maybe not represented yet. That might be, you know, six months old to give people some time with prestige for these or whatever it is. And, I mean, failing this, you have a few coins left over. You're going to be spending out on um, lamps. Because yeah, I was going to – I wanted to bring that fine. up too. Yeah. Just if you're not into the cosmetics or you don't care or you just have a few left over. Um, it's not a great conversion rate. It's not a good aware. conversion rate, no. No, it's like two. But it is. It is the like. It's the yeah. make sure you don't have any left over. It's the make sure we don't. You know, you don't have to math out. I want to get exactly sixty-seven coins or whatever. It's the whatever number I end up with, I'll be able to spend them down appropriately. So that's fine. I mean, I think the only thing I have an issue with is the coins disappearing. But I can see why they did that. I agree. No, I mean, I can't see why they do that. <laughs> I, yeah, I just like it. If the store is going to be the same every time, why are you changing the currency? Yeah, and it's and it's it's once again to create that idea behind it that you're spending something and that it's going to you know disappear. So it's only for this track. It's it's creating that time limited, dare I say it, FOMO that that people. But love, also, love the currency is primarily obtained when you've completed the track, so yeah. you already have the rewards. True. So the people who gain a ton of these are already going to be people who don't need to spend them because. They didn't miss the cosmetics. They completed the last one too, probably. Like right. So to get the, that's where I'm at on this. Yeah. I don't love the way it's balanced. No, no. And it is better than the sack, though. I like I because like the sack is randomness, sack. right? And with this, yeah, you get to I choose. Like that at all. That's true. That's true. So it, it feels like we got some good things and we got some bad things here with this. It's a step in the right direction, is how I feel about it. I like the choice instead of gamble. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you know, I, I think we're gonna see. This is the first iteration of it, and we're going to see where it goes after this Mm -hmm. based on how much interaction there is and how many people go and complete the repeatable task task 51. Compared to the earliest Yak Tracks, Yak Track has improved immensely, and it seems like they're doing something to improve it every track or two. They're making some change to how it functions. Um, To add functionality to make it better for the players, to make it more interesting, engaging, less of a grind, whatever you want to call it, they are improving it consistently, and I think that that will continue to happen. So we'll see where it goes with this. Yeah, and Tanis, you've become our resident microtransactions person. Um, So I'm going to say, is this predatory at all? Uh, no, I mean, I feel like, I feel the same as you guys. Like, I I wish there was rollover coins, but I don't <laughs> feel like this is predatory. Nothing on here, it's... Right, because it's I all gameplay. Yeah. yeah, and... You're not going to miss out by actually. doing this. I mean, they're cosmetics. No, and, and, in fact, yeah. And that, and the ones that I like the best are the, are the animations and the... Um, yeah, mm-hmm. You know the hurricane stuff, like or not hurricane quake. Mm-hmm. Um, those to me, those are the ones that are really appealing. You know what I mean? Like, right. I'm probably going to have to save for the cape just in case it's worth money. Yeah, but and and of course that would be had the other that ones. would be five <laughs> task fifty ones plus completing the track. Mm-hmm. So, and that'll happen. I mean, like you say, we play more than three hours a day because of who we are as people. So, and we are completing some of the actual tasks instead of. So just it's going to go quicker than that. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. And you know, and and I'll say this again, and I'll open this up to the comments or anybody out there listening. If there's a angle on this we've missed, let us know because we want to provide the feedback on this because I feel like this is an important iteration of Yak Track, one of the biggest iterations of Yak Track we've seen. And it's important that we 
you know, get everything on the record that needs to be on the record. So if you guys feel we've missed something on this, please do let us know. And like I said, um, Tannis recently has a very close and intimate experience with keys and the and the treasure hunter economy. So I trust him to say if something here is predatory or not. So, but no, and yeah, I'd like to get even closer, but you know, <laughs> every every card has a has a limit. Oh, God. You can find full episodes of RSBNB Update right here on this YouTube channel. If you found this video useful or just enjoyed it, like and subscribe or leave a comment.